we are asked to solve the given equation. This equation is considered to be in quadratic form because if we perform a substitution, we can solve the equation just like we solve a quadratic equation. The key to recognizing this is in quadratic form is to notice that this term has a factor of x raised to the power of one-third, and this term has a factor of x raised to the power of two-thirds, which we can write as the square of x raised to the power of one-third. To show this, let's rewrite the equation as 18 times the square of x raised to the power of one-third. Notice we still have x raised to the power of two-thirds here, because when we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. And then we have equals 15 times x raised to the power of one-third plus 25. And I'll perform a substitution to write this equation as a quadratic equation in a different variable. We will now let the variable u equal x raised to the power of one-third, and we write the equation in terms of u. Because u is equal to x raised to the power of one-third, we can now write this term as 18u squared equals, this would be 15u plus 25. Notice now we have a quadratic equation in terms of u, which we will now set equal to zero and factor. Let's set the right side equal to zero by subtracting 15u on both sides, and also subtracting 25 on both sides. This gives us the equation 18u squared minus 15u minus 25 equals zero. And now let's factor the left side. Notice the only common factor among all three terms is one, and therefore if this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. But because the leading coefficient is 18, not one, this is going to be more challenging to factor, we will use the method of trial and error. The first step is to place the factors of 18u squared in the first positions of the two binomial factors. So we could use an 18u and a 1u, a 2u and a 9u, or a 3u and a 6u. Let's use 3u and 6u. And now again, because the leading coefficient is not one, we now place the factors of negative 25 in the second positions, so that the sum of the inner product and outer product is equal to negative 15u. So let's use the factors of negative five and positive five as the factors of negative 25. Let's try placing a minus five in the first binomial and a plus five in the second binomial. And now check the sum of the inner and outer products. The inner product is negative 30u, plus the outer product is 15u, and notice how the sum is negative 15u, verifying this is factored correctly. And now that we have it factored correctly in terms of u, we will now perform another substitution and replace u with x raised to the power of one-third. So writing it back in terms of x, the first binomial factor will give us three x raised to the power of one-third minus five, and the second binomial factor will give us six x raised to the power of one-third plus five. And this product is still equal to zero. The product on the left is equal to zero when the quantity three x raised to the power of one-third minus five is equal to zero, or, or when the quantity six x raised to the power of one-third plus five is equal to zero. And now we solve both of these equations for x to determine the solutions to the original equation. To solve for x here, we first add five to both sides, giving us three x raised to the power of one-third equals five, and then we divide both sides by three. Simplifying, three divided by three is equal to one. We have x raised to the power of one-third equals five-thirds. We need to solve this for x, which means we need the exponent to be one, not one-third, and therefore we now raise both sides of the equation to the third power, or a cube both sides of the equation. Remember when we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. Here, one-third times three is one, giving us just x on the left. And to cube five-thirds, we cube the numerator and denominator. Five to the third is equal to 125. Three to the third is equal to 27. So one solution is x equals 125 27ths. Or for the second equation, we subtract five on both sides, which gives us six x raised to the power of one-third equals negative five. Divide both sides by six. Simplifying, we have x raised to the power of one-third is equal to negative five sixths. Again, we need x to the first power, not x to the one-third power. So now we cube both sides of the equation. 
when we cube x to the one third, we get just x. On the right, we cube negative five six. Negative five cubed is equal to negative 125, and six cubed equals 216. We have two solutions to the original equation. So again, notice how by performing a substitution, we were able to solve this equation just like we solve quadratic equations. I hope you found this helpful.